Hey guys, so I am doing a, a new video, kind of. Um, we are going to look inside my dance bag with me, which I have right here. Um, we're gonna look inside it, see what's in it, see what's going on, because I don't know if I've updated you. I've done other videos in the past with um, dance class, dance recitals, and I'll link them above, but I am no longer dancing currently um, at Anderson or at my old studio just because I needed more time to focus on schooling and my social life more here at Anderson and the drive was long too and there's a lot of different things um, that I decided to take a break from dance which I think is quite okay to find a different passion and take breaks so that you can re um, repassionize yourself to dance if that's a word I don't know redefine yourself and get back to, into it when you want or maybe you're just done and your body is, doesn't want it anymore and I'm just in the time where I just want to take a little break and things like that but I'm still um, in the spring in June I will be helping with the show that they're gonna do and their show is the theme of Cinderella so they're gonna tell the Cinderella story and basically I'm just gonna be helping out backstage with um, a mic and like headset music all that kind of things lights things like that like I did for the last show as well but I'm not gonna dance because I'm just in this phase of not doing it so I said it's time to go through my dance bag and kind of clean it out figure out what's going on take out things I don't need in there anymore kind of just show you what I did use and what I did use it for while I was dancing and what I'm not really I'm not using any of this now obviously so it's time to clean it out and see what's going on so, I have this bag. This is actually, fun fact, this is actually my old soccer bag from high school that I got. So when I stopped playing soccer, I would just use it for dance because I thought, why not? So it has my number on it, 23, which actually matches these pants that I'm wearing right now, which is really funny. So on the side, you just have little like cup holder, cup holder pockets, whatever, for drinks and whatever you wanna put in. I normally put my water bottle in there. So let's open this up. So in this little pouch right here, it's a first zipper right here, and then it's just open in this green lining. So I'm just gonna start pulling things out. So I have a bag of some hair ties, um, hair net, and some bobby pins. And then I also have more bobby pins, a hair net, a scrunchie, some tape, another hair net, um, yeah, and then I have some hand sanitizer, lotion, and chapstick. So these can be taken out for sure, hand sanitizer, lotion, and chapstick for now. Um, I'll take the scrunchie out, but everything else can just stay in there. So I'm just going to set that off to the side. So we'll just shut that back up. We can leave those things in there because I'm not going to need them. So next compartment is this medium compartment and it's also a green lining. First thing I see is a big old bottle of hairspray. This was always crucial for me because you never knew when you needed it or when you needed to touch up your hairspray. So that was crucial. And by the way, if you wanted to know what I used, it was Suave Essentials, the Max Hold hairspray. I used to use the 10, but they stopped making the 10. So I got the eight level. It says for long lasting hold, it was unscented. And I just got it at like Walmart or Meyer, like it was just super simple. I think it was like three or four bucks, not like, you know. And then have a hairbrush, cause you always need a hairbrush, um, super simple. I have some skirts in here that probably need to come out. Um, they're clean, I just have extra skirts in here just in case, like I forget one or someone needs one or whatever. So I'm just gonna put those in this drawer down here real quick. Oop, wrong drawer here boom cool okay and then I have okay so let me get the other thing I have this little sleeve that's like a compression sleeve for my knees sometimes that's helpful and then I have a knee brace because I hurt my knee in soccer a while ago and I put it in here for dance that I would use sometimes so that was helpful it just wraps around um what else do I have in here oh I have my dance journal book thing because I used to teach dance 
and I would write out my combinations and dances in here that I would teach so I could teach them easier so I didn't forget them. The songs, ideas, things like that, and just inspiration I would get would be like, oh, I want to do this, so I'd write it down, make some notes, whatever. So that was my, like, dance notebook I used. And that's all that was in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this back in here so I know where it is, um, as well as this extra hairbrush and hairspray, and then as well as the knee brace, because I won't be using that either. We can just zip that back up. And then this last compartment is this bigger compartment right here. So there's that, and we just open it. It's the biggest compartment in it. And the first thing we see is this mesh pocket hold. And in this mesh hold, I have some like extra supplies. So I have band-aids, some extra bobby pins, um, like hair ties, and things like that that I'm just gonna all leave in there. But like, it's like these and all those things. Now I just sit that back up because that's just extra things. And then this is the compartment where I kept all my shoes. So let's see if I can't pull all this out. <laughs> So I'm not going to explain this first. Okay, so this was my point shoe bag, which we will get to in a minute. I'm just going to set that aside to so pull everything out. And then I have jazz shoes, tan jazz shoes, and then I also have black jazz shoes in here because some classes they wanted black, some wanted tan, depending on what we were doing um, in class and for what dance we were doing it for. Um, different companies are different and such. So I'll just put this back in there, put this down, and then let's get to my point shoe bag. Um, point shoe bag, um, just mesh, yellow bag. Um, so I put my flat shoes just on the top here, so they were with them. So these are my ballet flats. Um, super simple. They're not that worn out just because I haven't been dancing for a while, but left and right and they get worn out over time as you can see. Um, they're Capizio brand. I wear a 10 and a half medium in these. I'm normally a nine or 10 in shoe size. It just depends. Honestly, I go to Kenny's Dance Wear in Noblesville to get my shoes and stuff where I used to. I would if I was still dancing to get more shoes and such, but these are those, um, super simple. The next thing I'm pulling out is my actual point shoes. So here are my actual point shoes. I'll undo them. I have them wrapped like, the ribbons. So, here are my point shoes. They are the block balance lise, and I wear a size six triple X. And like the triple X is the width and how things are, and then the size is how long the point shoe is. So, these are not super worn out, they're still pretty consistent, they're not dead yet. Um, this one's the left one, and we mark them. So we know because they don't really wear as much and then you can't tell and if you put them on the wrong foot then it's an issue. So I just have one elastic that would go around my foot and then I have one set of ribbon that I sewed in here. Sometimes you'll see these ribbon, most of the time you'll see these ribbons separated and then you like tie it around your ankle, right? But I think it's a lot easier and it's more supportive, especially if you have quick changes that you just put this around and then you wrap it and wrap it and it just fits around your ankle better and you don't have the issue of your um, shoe becoming untied while you're dancing or anything like that. Some people use hairspray, but I've had issues with that before. So a few years ago, I just switched to that and then I just tuck those in and go like that. Same with the other shoe. This is just the right one. Exact same concept um, of that. So I'm just gonna put those back in and like so. And then I also have a few other things in here. I have this little sewing kit, I guess, and tape measure in here for me in case I need things. So there's needles, um, string for my shoes, and then a measuring tape in case I need it for whatever. And then the next thing I'm pulling out is, if I can get them both out at the same time, is toe pads. These are toe pads that you wear um, in your point shoes before you put them on. And then I put my tights over them. Some girls don't, it just depends. Um, normally, almost all the time for like recitals or competitions or big productions, you 
it's traditional to see the tights over these in the point shoes so it's all uniform and fit looking and then these are called um these are called toe pads these are go over your big toes i don't really know what to call them but they go over your big toes as an extra support because most of the weight falls onto your big toe because it's bigger so these go over my big toes and then i put this over and then i put the point shoe on over that with my tights pulled down so i hope that makes sense to you and it's just extra support and cushion so I don't hurt my feet as much. And then I also have lidocaine roll-on strength relief um, that, here I'll open it for you guys. It's just a ball that you like roll on, super simple. Um, and it like, it doesn't numb the area, but it's supposed to, it's lidocaine pain relief that you don't feel as much pain. So I put those on my big toes and then I put the big toe, cloth on and then the toe pads and then my tights and then the point shoes um and i have gel squares in here and these gel squares um some athletes know what these are um they're it's called second skin too they're used for um more cushion sometimes um uh some calluses that have broke open um blisters most of the time blisters sometimes i'd use these if there was an area or a cut on my foot that i didn't want um, to get a whole lot more bacteria or pain in i'd use these sometimes to provide a little bit more cushion on that um, open skin area um, and then i'd like use tape over it as I, what i showed earlier but i don't really use them that much anymore so then it all just goes back in here dropped that there we go and I just put it all back in here because I'm don't want to separate everything and then I'll just put it all back in my dance bag so that's what's in my dance bag I hope you enjoyed watching let me know if you are a dancer in your dance journey don't want to be a dancer and just watch this just because you wanted to watch it um where you are on your dance journey um, if you want to be a dancer, if you hate dancing, like whatever, just let me know um, what you think. Subscribe as always, like, comment to let me know if you liked this kind of video, what other videos you'd like to see, how this channel is doing for you, and so forth and so on. Um, I always like your feedback and always remember to be kind and courteous with your comments as well. But I, I can take criticism, but don't be like harsh about it, obviously. Um, I like the good criticism. I guess um, and suggestions are nice but don't don't be mean about them this is not a pa uh, not a place for that I want to create this community um, as a kind respectful community to one another and to me and to you guys so support each other out there be kind respectful all those things so I will see you guys tomorrow for a Bible reading and or not tomorrow because this is going out on Saturday but um, I'll see you guys next time so I'll see you later. Bye.